So now that we have our lock set up for our NFT tickets, we need to be able to have folks be able to claim them or purchase them. So what we're going to do is uh, create a link that we can drop into our website that actually creates the checkout experience for our attendees. So what we do is from our lock management page here on the dashboard, we're going to go, go up to tools. We're going to go to create checkout URL. We're going to take this and this actually gives us a real time view of what our checkout experience would look like. So we're going to call this the ETH Denver happy hour uh, for the ticket and redirect URL. This is after somebody purchases their ticket, where do we want them to uh, go back to and get redirected back to? So we're going to say this is going to go to you know, uh, your website uh, X, Y, Z. And that's all we've got to do. Uh, we can configure a bunch of other things as well, but at the uh, most straightforward, what we've done is we have set up what we want for our checkout experience. So what we're going to do is we'll look at this, make sure it looks the way we want to. So if somebody came in, they would start on this. They would say, okay, yep, that's the ticket I want. They would uh, be able to grab that ticket and then they would hit claim and they would get it. So this is the experience we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL for this checkout flow. What we've done is we've actually created this in the background. So we're going to copy that. And now once you have the URL for this checkout flow, you can drop it right into your website. So what we're doing is uh, if we had, say, a link or a button onto a website, we would drop that as where that thing goes off to. And that's all we would have to do. So if somebody were to go to your website and you had dropped that link attached to a button or a link on that website uh, that said, get your ticket here, if they happened to click on that, what would happen is they would go and they would bounce out to exactly this experience that we had just uh, created with the checkout builder. So they would go through, they would say, yep, that's the ticket I want. They would say next. They would pay for the ticket or claim it if that's what they're doing and they would hit claim. And so that's all it takes to attach this purchase flow to your website.